Okay. Holy hell, 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 hell bells. <laughs> Fuck me. Last end at last episode. Skeleton nearly killed us. There's a there was a flashing red. That means I was close to death. Spider showed up at one point, and a creeper blew up over here, outside, but part of my house as well. That spider's probably still outside somewhere. Oh, it got killed by the creeper. Oh my god, he's still got some of my wheat as well. Fucking hell. And my, up there as well. Jesus Christ, great. Well, that's what I get for turning on thunder and lightning and letting... Monster spawn. Yep, there's the string from the stupid ass bloody thing. Oh my god, right, we need to get some more water from here now. And I need to put wood in there. I have one wood. <laughs> oh no, is it oak wood? Oh, I see dark wood. Do I have any more dark wood in here? Stay there, Winter. Oak wood. Spruce wood. Ah, oh, that, should, that should be fine. I couldn't get him through my... I, I, killed the, I killed the skeleton during the night. He came right to my front door and I just smacked him a couple of times. And killed him. After he nearly killed me a second time. But god damn, yeah. That was a pain in the ass because I couldn't move properly on the goddamn eyes. I was slipping and sliding everywhere. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Anyway, I'm not going to be turning Thunder back on willingly. I didn't turn it off, it stopped raining because I slept, but Jesus Christ almighty almighty. <coughs> wow. And plus that last episode was over 700 me megabytes, probably because of all the snow and everything that was on my screen and the effects it's weird this game it's all low res all, re all low res textures and everything and yet it it's the series with the biggest oops the biggest file size of a 12 minute recording i don't understand it i can record that works i can record 20 minutes of mass effect 2 and 200 megabytes. 10 minutes, 12 minutes of this. Uh, yep, yeah, why not a gigabyte? Why not just, just go the whole hog and a gigabyte? I mean, seriously. What? Uh, oh, there we go. But holy hell, last night was a doozy. There we go, that's all done. You got a snowball out of that. Oh, that string's. Oh no, I got the, did I get the string? No. String's bugged. String's bugged. Let's have some more seeds. Need dirt. Put this bloody dirt back. There we go. I have two wheat now. Yeah, I do. Let's go. Make some of these cows randy. Shut up, Paul. Notice each other, please. Oh, for God's sake, mm -hmm. fucking fences. Oh, now they stop being horny. Haha, mm -hmm. <laughs> cows' horns. Laugh. Seriously, fucking cows. Great, I just wasted some bloody fucking... Oh no, they actually did. Good. Thankfully, they actually did make a little babby. I'm thinking maybe replace all this fence with... With ice. <laughs> we'll make a fucking ice wall around these guys as well. Jesus Christ. I think some enemies are spawning, like on here. Or spiders could spawn in there. Wow, jeez. What a night. What a night. Okay, we've been recording nearly five minutes and already over 200 megabytes. I'm hearing a zombie. Is there a Probably a cave underneath me or something. Hmm. 
Oh, I don't understand this game at all. Well, I was saying about the Mass Effect 2, 20 minutes and only 200 megabytes. Um, for some reason, that game is completely different to the other 360 games I would record, because I would record like uh, Infinite, and I'd record, sometimes I'd record for 10 minutes or so, and even then I would get about 600, 700, 700 megabytes, depending on what's happening on the screen. So I'm guessing like not much is happening on the screen for um, Mass Effect 2 to increase my uh, thingy for so much. I don't know. It's really weird. Really strange. And a little bit annoying because it just takes friggin' ages to upload. To upload a 300 megabyte odd video, it's about up to an hour to an hour and a half. So effectively, you double that, it could take me up to three hours and possibly even more than three hours to record a Minecraft video that's over up to and over 700 megabytes. We're halfway through the day, actually a little bit more, and we're up to 300 megabytes. So maybe this will this one's going to be about 600. Still, that's a friggin' lot. I just don't understand. I'm not got much to talk about it. Talk about because I'm recording this on the same day as I recorded the last episode because we nearly got killed by a goddamn skeleton and I managed to actually be able to sleep even though monsters were nearby. Actually, no monsters were nearby because I killed the skeleton and the creeper blew up and killed the spider. So that was all fine. There was just no monsters nearby then. But Jesus Christ, I've got not much to talk about because I've talked about everything before, about my computer. I don't know what I'm gonna, I still don't, don't know what I'm going to do in terms of mm. computer. I don't know if I'm, hopefully, maybe the computer I was wanting comes back Oh, goes back up for sale in September or December, either one, when I decide to buy one. Or I'm probably either going to have to buy one, just any one with decent specs, but not the best. That includes Windows 7, so it probably might not be as strong as I was hoping, hoping I could get. Or I could just buy one that doesn't include Windows 7, buy Windows 7 separately. And even then, it would be a pretty cheap and crappy version of Windows 7. Or, I could buy the one without Windows 7 and ask, see if I, any of my mates could get me a Windows 7, like, on a disc that's cracked or something, I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Not much else to talk about, really. It would be actually quite good if I could get a better computer. Not so much for recording Minecraft or recording off the 360, but for freaking recording Desmond May and my Nintendo DS games. Because for whatever reason, they just turn my laptop into a furnace. I don't know why. The program is not very well optimized, I'm guessing. And it's just. It's a fucking Nintendo DS game. How can it just take up so much CPU and RAM? I, I don't understand, and it just really annoys me. But anyway, enough of me. How about you? How are you doing? Fine, good. Okay. I know. I keep saying this. I know that this is called Journey of the Enderborn. I'm supposed to be traveling around and making a permanent, nice-looking place. Is kind of. Uh, the opposite of doing that, but it's like my second home. I want to make it look good before I start traveling And then maybe one day I might decide to you know what I'm gonna head back and then I just teleport TP to my uh, Coordinates which I've set for home too. see how the place looks and be like oh nostalgia I Remember this place when I was a kid because by then I'll probably be like 50 years old when I finish the series. I don't know <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. When it gets tonight, I'm hiding in my house and sleeping. I really am a bit of an idiot and didn't consider the possibility of monsters spawning along these walkways during the night. Or during thunderstorms, even for that matter. And I nearly got killed by a goddamn goram skeleton, a goram skeleton. And then a spider showed up. 
when the creeper blew up, which thankfully killed the spider, because if not, I probably would have been murdered by the spider. I was trying to run back into my home, which I couldn't get through the door because I was constantly being shot with arrows and sliding around the place. And I couldn't get close to the skeleton because I couldn't run it in properly because of the goddamn ice. So, cons. No, pros. Monsters cannot spawn on ice. They cannot spawn transparent blocks. And that's the whole reason why I've made my floor out of ice and I'm making walls out of ice. Cons. If, by any chance, monsters do somehow spawn inside or climb inside like a spider could climb in, then if you're outside and you're away from your house and you're trying to rush back inside, you're screwed because you bloody well can't. I thought I saw a blue creeper there. Okay, this video is not so bad. Not so bad. It's getting to night time. It's getting dark. It's going to be about another minute or so, and it should be about 600 or just over 600 megabytes. Okay, night time. Right. Less than 600. So, I can actually give a proper goodbye this time instead of quickly leaving because I've got damn monsters everywhere. But yeah, this has been another episode of the Journey of Enderborn. Journey of Enderborn, we did some more work on the wall. I recovered from the creeper explosion and the arrow attack, the skeleton, <coughs> skeleton spider attack. Oh, diggity down, that was intense. But anyway, I will see you all next time. Goodbye, Winter. Bye-bye, puppy. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. See you later.